was asking me where I bought it. Well, it looks like a dad down down here. We're about a block away. We just saw a few vehicles with uh, gang activity, but uh... oh, here's an update. All right, so we got uh, in that car right there, uh, 1866. He's uh, got two stripes over that vehicle. Uh, I don't know yeah. the lingo, you know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, his name is Sean. He had a roid rage in front of us. Really? Did you get on video? Yeah, yeah. So uh, he, he went off on y'all. Yeah, uh, you can't. This from here, we have to stay on the sidewalk, cannot be in the road, and he says he's given a lawful order, and Antonio almost got arrested. We got that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we ran into them a little bit ago. All right. And, uh, but Shaw, yeah, had a roid rage in front of us. Interesting. Shaw. He goes, whatever his badge number is, 35, 44, whatever. He goes, so that's a, what, hey, sir, what's your badge number? He goes, I already told you. I said, you didn't tell me, you told me. Yeah, yeah. Most people filming. Yeah. Uh, these, these are all our clothes. Let's walk yeah, down here. Nice, dude. So yeah, we're in Austin. Obviously, uh, after the police accountability summit today, about 40 people, 30, 40 people met up at 8 o'clock and uh, walked down here to downtown Austin, Sixth Street, busy bar area. Been walking around, handing out some literature, having conversations, filming, police interactions. So uh, that's what's going on. This is the kind of respect you get from uh, people who purport to protect and serve you. They uh, like to shine their lights at you. It's actually turned into one of my pet peeves, so. Real professional, man, real professional. You think people would pay your salary voluntarily if you treat them like that? You feel good cashing your check at night? That's stolen money, man. You're just a thug in a badge. Real professional. What are you scared of? I don't know. I just came down here. We just saw a bunch of lights, so we just walked down the street. This is where they set up their command post every freaking weekend. I, I see. saw them here a couple of weekends ago when I was down here. So they ironic that they set it up inside of a building and freaking hide it disguised as a restaurant. Ah. So they come down here, they block off streets, and they just have a ton of cops rolling around yeah. to har harass people, essentially. They're really curious. They don't have any no, so, so. All right. Oh, you, I've got the sticker. <laughs> I, I got some cards if you want. All right. Well, anyway, I guess that's what's going on in Austin. A lot of folks rolling around. Uh, again, 100 folks got cameras today at the summit, so a few of the people around here have them, so it's pretty cool to see. And Austin streets definitely going to be a lot safer because of it, so... Uh, you'll replicate this in your area and get in touch with these guys. So here's the guy who's shining a light. Hey, why are you shining? Look He's saying, "What's your badge number?" He said, "Come look at it." He said, "Like not a lot over there." Sorry. We're not a lot over there. I don't know. I don't know. I, no I just there. I just walked down here, man. I don't know what they're claiming. The walk is hilarious. All right, man. All right, anyway, yeah, so there's been a lot of video collected tonight, some interviews done, plan to chop up a video in the near future. Um, you know, again, it's really cool. The, act the Austin scene's always had a really deep and diverse act activist community, and with the advent of uh, the Peaceful Streets Project, a lot of uh, folks from disparate demographics and groups have sort of met and started collaborating. So it's really awesome to see, uh, you know, the common theme being police accountability, and now with 100 more cameras in hands of uh, people who, you know, want to hold others accountable for their actions, it's only going to get better here in Austin.